welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. I am here with a whole collection project update, which I have to say that slow because I cannot, I cannot get the words out otherwise. I don't know. This is a collaboration. There are a bunch of YouTube channels and Instagram channels following along and participating. Everyone's updates are going up at different times and everyone's doing the project in a little bit of a different way, how, how it best suits their needs which are the kind of projects I love. I'll have everyone who's participating listed in the description box. This is organized by Amanda at the Nail Polish Hound. So again, thank you, Amanda. I don't have all of the polishes in front of me because I've already put some of them away, but I have used all of the previous polishes that were in my group. So we're selecting 10 new guys this month, which is awesome. I'm gonna show you the manicures and um, then we'll talk about the new polishes at the end. So let's get to it. Okay, so first we had the, um, well, not first, really, just the first ones we want to talk about. I had three polishes that were all Lord of the Rings themed, and I decided to wear them as a manicure. So it was a Great Lakes Lacquer to the King, Great Lakes Lacquer, There is Also Life, and Literary Lacquer is the Mirror of Galadriel. I love Lord of the Rings. I, it's, okay, I'm not going to talk about it because I talk about it every time. It kind of makes me a little bit emotional. I love Lord of the Rings, and um, I love these polishes. I think the they are beautifully inspired and very accurate inspirations of, you know, the movies particularly. I'm keeping all of those and I, I loved this manicure. I thought it was beautiful. Next we had China Glaze Pining for Glitter and this is a green glitter. I do love China Glaze glitters. I wish we would have more of the glitters, um, you know, they're just, China Glaze does really good glitters when they when they do them and I, I just I'm a big fan so this is pining for glitter this is three coats it's it's a, a glitter and a clear base and it's gonna be a bear to remove but it's so pretty um I am gonna keep this I definitely don't wear strict glitters as often as I used to I like them as toppers um but I kind of was rushing to wear this because I just like wanted to like I wanted to get a whole clean slate, you know, like a whole new group of polishes for this video. So uh, I did wear this, but just for like a day because I was I was kind of trying to, I was trying to wear it to move on, you know. Otherwise, it is still a beautiful glitter, and I mean I'm gonna keep it. Next we have Zoya Maddie, and every time I talk about this baby pink, don't let me keep this pink because I never wear it. But then every time I wear it, I think. I mean, it's really pretty. I gotta go through my baby pinks, especially from Zoya because Zoya does love the mauves and the pinks. I have quite a few from the brand and figure out which ones I like the best. This is, this is pretty. I'm gonna keep this for now, but I, I really have to like dedicate some time and go through all of my baby pinks because this, it isn't a color that I reach for a lot, but then when I put it on, I think, I mean, it is really pretty. I don't hate it when I wear it, you know? So I'm gonna keep it for now. Uh, next we had the textured manicure. This was Zoya Liberty and Zoya Tilly. I love the pixie dust from Zoya. I am of course keeping these. These are beautiful. I wish that these would make a comeback. I love these. Um, and then we had this little guy from Nailtopia. This is called uh, Grateful For You, a really pretty lavender with a really strong purple shimmer. I'm a big fan of the Nailtopia polishes. I talk about them a lot. Keeping that guy. And honestly, spoiler alert, I'm keeping all of these polishes this month. So we had Bee's Knees, I Can't Control Their Fear. This is a, an old polish pickup polish. It is just this squishy, jelly, red, embers burning, fiery polish. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely. This is, I don't have a lot from Bee's Knees um, lacquer, but this is probably my favorite that I have. I think it's so gorgeous. Next was Calora's de Carol Lucky in Love. This is a really fun spring or summer, because I mean, I definitely wore it in summer. Crelly, it introduced as a St. Patrick's Day polish, but I don't think it's like overtly St. Patrick's Day. I think it works really well for multiple occasions or seasons. And it has a beautiful formula, of course. So I'm going to keep that. 
And then we also had Nine Zero Lacquer Holy Fire. I actually wore that with the bees knees and I really liked it. Of course I'm keeping mine. I'm keeping all mine. I'm always going to keep all my nine zeros. Okay. Like we're not getting rid of those. Next we have all of the polishes that I'm adding in and they are all brand new. Four mainstreams. The first is China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy. This is the reformulated version of Flip Flop Fantasy, but it's still a lovely bright peachy color very fun. I know everyone's like talking about fall. You people that are talking about fall, stop. Okay? No. I will not, I will not be accepting that anytime soon. I'm going to be wearing neons well into December. I'm not, just, just, just stop. We have Nails Inc. Living for the Billion, and this is this like gold, like dirty money color but like gold. I haven't worn this in a long time and this is beautiful. Next we have a polish from Orly. This is called Artist's Garden. This is from, I think this was their spring collection last year, which was the art theme for the year. I think this was the Impressionists collection. This really nice medium green cream. That will be lovely. And then the last of the mainstreams is Zoya Lotus, another oldie but goodie. I haven't worn this in a very long time. I really need to dig into my Zoya drawer. Well, I mean, that's the point of this project is to dig into all the drawers. First, we have Dangle Foot Nail Polish, Then I Defy You Stars. This is from January 2020. Couldn't tell you what that theme was, but this is like a taupey holographic, like a very like purpley, Taupey holographic polish. We have one from Glisten and Glow. This is called Raspberry Margarita 2.0. This is their nine year anniversary fan fave. But this was several years ago, so I don't, I can't, I don't know what year they're on now. But it's a bright pink holographic. I'm loving the holographics, okay? I'm loving that these are getting chosen. We have one from Great Lake Zachar. This is called Afternoon Storms 2.0, and this is like an oil slick multi-chrome shimmer and then this is what I mean I have maybe eight literary lacquers polishes but another one has been chosen <laughs> I don't know what the random gener I don't I don't know how the random generator works but whatever this is called Lake of Shining Waters this is an Anna Green Gables inspired polish I mean I'll never get rid of this polish because I love Anna Green Gables but also it's beautiful this green that was blue like glitters Another 9-0 lacquer. This is called Heat Wave. This is a red jelly with silver hollow and like red shimmer. And then lastly, we have one from Rogue Lacquer. This is called Festival of Lights. And this is, I think, a silvery purple base with purple, blue, and gold micro flakies. I believe this is from, this is from her Hanukkah collection that she... I can't I don't think it was called the Hanukkah Collection. It might have been called the Festival of Lights Collection. I can't remember. But this is beautiful. I mean, and then on top of that, I have, you know, all my Polish Beauty Expo polishes to wear and swatch. So we might, we might have a, a bit before this update happens. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are doing this project, I would love to know how your progress is going. I say this every month, but I really do enjoy this project because... It's very easy to forget to like dig into the drawers and wear the stuff that you have. I'm very guilty of that. Um, and that's ridiculous. So I would love to know your progress. I always try to think of fun combinations to wear with the polishes that are chosen. So we'll see what we come up with. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.